I just ran upstairs to grab my phone because I need to share this with you. I am still in a scout uniform because I haven't changed since I got back because basically as soon as I got back, I got to coding. On my way to scouts, I got an email from OpenAI. It was about a new release that they made. Recently, OpenAI released um, vision models for their ChatGPT platform, so you can access the vision models with GPT-4 on the web. And ever since that happened, I've been thinking, okay, but what if they release it with the API? Then I could combine it with a few other things and get just a fully autonomous GPT model that can see and act with function calling and all that. Well, in the email that I received, as you might be able to guess by now, they released vision to the API. And so as the minute I got back, I sat down and I've been coding since. Let me flip my camera around and show you what I've done. Okay, here's what I put together. Basically, I'll disable this API key right after filming, don't worry. I have made a function. There's a cat under my desk, so it's gonna it might be a little loud, but I've made a function for all the things that I could think of for my computer. I can left click, right click, double click. I can press a key for my keyboard. I can write a message. This is all done with PyAuto GUI. Then, um, basically, you get the vision model. You get it to, you pass, okay, let me scroll down actually. You get the vision model. You take a screenshot of, you take a screenshot of your screen, then, you because your screenshot doesn't include a picture of your cursor, what you do is you get a cursor from online. <laughs> I got this one. Um, you get a cursor from online, you open your screenshot, you get the mouse position at the time that you took the screenshot, and then you paste that cursor onto your screenshot so that the model can know where your cursor is. Then, well, you, you just give that screenshot to the vid vision model. but Here's what the actual vision model receives. Uh, it says, I need help doing accomplishing the following task. And then it's given a goal. The goal is in the input. So basically this is the user input, similar to auto GPT where you give it like a goal and then it will break it down into tasks and then do all of that. So I need help accomplishing this goal. Here's what I know how to do. And then the reason it's framed as what I need help and here's what I know how to do is that when I told it that these are capabilities that it had, it would always respond with, I can't help you with this request. And it actually still does. The final result of this is that it's actually really stupid still and doesn't understand how the screen works. But nonetheless, the experiment is still a little interesting. And so I ask it to guide me based on the screenshots, a little bit of prompt engineering to get it to format its response in a specific way. Then that response is taken and sent to a different instance of GPT. See how there's this one has um, the context is the image context. This one, the context is the tools constant context, and they are different models. One of them is the GPT-4 vision preview. The other is GPT-3.5 turbo, and it has access to all of the functions. So what it receives is basically something like this, move mouse left 234 pixels. It has access to all of these commands. So it just understands immediately, okay, I gotta move the mouse left and pass in the parameter 234 pixels. Got it. So then it does that, gets the function, executes it. That's all of that. Gets the response and prints it. So right now I have all of this running in a loop for 20 iterations and I can run this, ask it to do a task and we can watch it fail because it has not yet succeeded on doing anything because the vision model does is really bad at pixel values and so getting the mouse to align with something on your screen which is you know pretty crucial with doing anything with your screen um is still very very difficult so let me show you what i mean i have google open here and i'll open this in a new tab and uh we'll just ask to open github so it should be able to just navigate over and click on this GitHub. So current file, I'll run this. And I'll ask open GitHub in Google Chrome. Get the mouse back over to this side and press enter. So 
Here's the console. That's what's happening in the console. I'm going to show you this screen because it's more interesting. I don't know if you saw the mouse go all the way down there, but it's all the way down here right now. Now it's all the way back up here. Now it's all the way back down there. Now it's up here. It's still trying to go up. So, yeah, pixel values are still really tough for it to understand. But if I put it in here and I just click, then it should be able to figure out, nope, it just moved the mouse right another 600 pixels. That's great. But if I put, still moving down 300 pixels, it's down here now. Is it done? I think it's done. No, 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 I did. Oh, will it press enter? It did. Hey, there's my GitHub. It actually did it. Okay. So, for this example, I just had to move my mouse into here, and then I understood to type GitHub and enter. But otherwise, it would was it just wasn't getting to the search bar. It also didn't understand that it could just click here. So let me flip this camera back around and talk. What I got from this experiment is that GPT Vision does not understand screens yet. It under, it wasn't seems it probably wasn't trained on a bunch of screens with specific pixel data, because that's basically what we need right now, or at least what I'm thinking about. I might just be missing a really key piece, but the main like thing in my head is that you can get it to move around the screen, get to the right pixel, click, type. It understands that it can click. It understands that it can type. It understands that it can press buttons. It just does not understand pixel data. I feel like this is something that might be able to fix, to be fixed with few shot image prompting, but I need to figure out how to do that. So if you have any ideas for how to do few shot image prompting, please leave them in the comments. And before I end off, if you're still here, I'm currently writing a book. It's very short uh, and it's mirrored in my hand, but this is just the first chapter that's printed out. Uh, this is like the, nope, that's not it. Bunch of drafts right there. I've been working on them and I'm currently in the process of designing all the pages. So if you wanna get a short book on how to build a digital assistant that will actually be able to complete tasks for you instead of fumbling around the screen, uh, then you can apply to my mailing list in the description. And if you get in, then I'll send you a notification when I end up publishing this. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.